get that banana off of there. It's not the first time I've heard that today. Quit monkeying around. Hello, screamers, creamers, and dreamers. Welcome back. Oh my goodness. Did you just make that up or did you steal that from somebody? Why would how would I steal screamers, creamers, and dreamers from somebody? I don't know, but And welcome back to the judgiest place on the internet. My name is Josh. God, I thought you were going to throw that at me. My name's Rick. And my name's Christian. And we are the, the Judges. Judges. Back in better than ever. Right? Wrong. Fuck. Factually false. Back in same people. Yep. Nothing has changed. I've changed a lot about myself. Yeah. Name one uh, thousand things. What What number do you think is a lot? It depends fuck, on the context. Fuck, 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 fuck. One murder? That's a lot. Is it? One m M&M? and That's not a lot. Mm. Uh, I would say one m M&M is m M&M and too many. Because he is homosexual. <laughs> homophobic. <laughs> Let's cancel huge. M&M on hey, this podcast. Huge if we just dropped that he's homosexual. <laughs> yeah, huge we, if we just broke the story. We knew that Slim Shady was uh, not straight the entire time. I was talking about the candy. Right. Oh. But I did a little wordplay on that. Well. Anyway. Do you guys see that BTS is joining the South Korean army? Well, what's they up with this? Is to. this a thing? They have to. Yeah, they're having a draft or something. And they're going to come back so fucking swollen hot. What is the South Korean army getting into a war with? North Korea? I'd, maybe it's not even a draft. I think it's I a think. draft. It's a mandatory. Oh, like Israel? Yeah. Mm. But there was like debate because they're so famous that they're like, do we have to? They shouldn't. I mean, nobody should. I guess it'd be kind of fucked up if they didn't. But but I yeah, I think one was like, hey, you have to do it. And they're all like, fine, we're all joining the army. Then we're going to come back so hot and sexy and so K-poppy. Or the world's going to forget about them. No, no absolutely, absolutely not. not. And Aren't just, there fans called the army? The K- um, uh, I the think K- so. BTS the, army? That's from a- the one single headline i read about it looked like i don't know if that's their fans that are called that or if people call them the bts army because they're so like active on on social medias you know what i mean because they're just war crime like and stuff. i think bts aren't <laughs> yeah yeah hey from every bts fan i've ever met they have a look in their eye like they've war crimed uh because like you know how you'll say like i think bts army is similar to, like twitter mob okay it's like almost like a pejorative but okay. maybe I'm wrong. Hey, BTS Army, don't come for me. Hey, guys. Yeah. I went back to work today. How was that? Boo. Yeah. It sucked. That's exactly how we feel about it. I cried a little bit on my way in. Did you? Yeah. So how many days of work are you, are you tweaking? I do two and a half days a week. So I'm part-time until they find my replacement. Which is never because that's how probably things work. My exactly. boss was like, it's going to be probably at least six weeks. I'm like, Okay. Yeah, that's like I just got to crash on your week for or on your couch for like a week, mm-hmm. and then six years later you're getting married because you it's kismet. Mm-hmm. I had almost two thousand emails. That's insane. The video you sent us of just your email number ticking up. I've never seen that happen before. That was like yeah. straight out of a horror movie. Yeah, yeah that's <laughs> just, what it fucking felt like. like. If there was a modern day horror set in an office situation, it was just eight hundred. That's not too bad. 850. It started out at 150, dude. <laughs> just, and it kept going up t- by like 100 at a time. And then all of a sudden, I, I didn't even start recording it until it was what, at like 1600? Yeah, it was like, like 1500-ish. Yeah, and I think it stopped at like 1890 or something like that. That's crazy. I was uh, I was like, God damn. Uh, and I'm a type A person, so like every single one of my emails is color categorized so that when I need to find a specific email and I can't remember like who sent it or whatever, but I knew that it was about like vaccine preventable diseases. I just have to categorize it into the blue category. And I find find it so and that's and I can't have any unread emails and why are you not in charge of the judge's email then? Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> How come our email is just us accidentally tagging things wrong all the There's time? There's a lot of slip ups on my side. <laughs> Yeah, it is mainly Christian. <laughs> it's all on my side. So who so who's watching the little shit during the day? He's old enough. He's yeah. just sort of opening cans of beans Don't by even himself. I say that though cuz I literally had a nightmare the other night that I left him alone for 12 hours and like forgot about him and he got taken away from me and I had sobbed. It was awful. It was an awful dream. 
Um, no, but Christian's mom and dad are watching him during the day. That makes sense. Mm-hmm. Those are about tired time they fuckers. freaking yeah. About time they freaking put in their work. Let's do a little work, mom and dad. Hmm. Grandma and grandpa. This is only your ninth grandchild. Yeah, they're used to it. Yeah, that's what I keep telling myself. Like he's <laughs> fine. She raised four children. She's got nine grandchildren. She's got ten brothers and sisters. Like it's fine. <laughs> that's insane. My uncle was just telling me this about like our lineage, and he's like, "Yeah, like." fucking nah he's traced us back like apparently like the high smiths came over to the u.s like pre-us like in the okay. 1600s or some shit but he's like yeah and like the first person who came over changed his name from hy smith to h-i-g-h s-m-i-t-h and then he had 17 kids holy shit and it's like wow that times were different <laughs> damn your great 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 grandpa really fucked yeah he really do. He, pull out was not invented yet. Was the no. real part. Seventeen kids. How do you even find the time to fuck? Did they all live? I have no idea. Oh, there was actually twenty three, but well, that's what I'm saying. That's why it's called twenty three and me. Your family that's founded not. that? Yeah, we're rich. Should I mention? <laughs> you bitch. Did I forget to mention that the entire time <laughs> I've known you guys? I haven't been working at all. When I said I quit a few weeks ago, I said I got a job in biochemistry <laughs> that's made up <laughs> that's not even real idiots that's t- that's literally just two sciences that i put together that's like saying i got a degree in geology <laughs> geo from geology and, and biology biology from, from biology from biology yeah understand i picked up on it i don't know if erica picked up on it quite but erica did pick up our mail over at p.o box 58 Six one three five zero Ottawa, Illinois. And boy, do we have so much. And Erica, as always, so eager to open it. And here is a letter sent in to us with a f- couple of fun little things in there. Those are balloons. Blow them up. You crock my world on that balloon. Popping bottles just got different. Oh. Christian and Erica, congrats on baby Owen. Close. Oh. Close. I found your podcast <laughs> earlier this year, and you guys brighten up my work day, so I just wanted to return the favor and brighten yours. P.S. I did not forget about Josh, and will definitely send new balloons for him in the near future. I'm sure you will. Hey, don't worry about it. You don't have to. I get it. <laughs> if you love the balloons. <sighs> One when year you're closer. closer with the new balances. Because you're old now. You're a dad. You're ancient. You're you dusty. Fuckers. If you love the balloons, be sure to check out my small biz. Stay safe and continue serving smiles, Anthony. Thank you. What's the small biz? Uh, he didn't plug balloon it. Balloon biz. He didn't plug it? What does that We're mean? We're in the monkey biz of the small balloons. Unless unless it's what's on the back of the car. Very pun stuff. Yeah. That's probably what it is. Popping bottles just got different. Oh, that must be what it is then. Uh, Instagram at very pun stuff, very pun stuff.com. Thank you. Jokes on you. I wear cool new balance nine, nine fives. I'm a hip like that. You fuckers. Christian does rock the new balances unironically. Erica, and we've got another one. We have another package for you to open. This one has there was a lot of tissue paper in here and I already took most of it off so that you didn't have to listen to it and I folded it because I'm going to keep it and reuse it. My motherly instincts kicked in and I saved all the tissue paper. They're running low on diapers and Olsen needs a change. <laughs> well, when you leave them for 12 hours, you just wrap them in a couple <laughs> tissue papers. <laughs> Look how you took up most of it and there's still eight layers. <laughs> I told you there was a lot. <laughs> no! <laughs> it's, like, it's like the never-ending pit. There's more and more. It's a painting. We got a painting. It looks like a flower vase. There's no context. It does look a little bit like a vase. Oh, wait. Was this one of the emails we got that said you really need the letter to come with it? I don't know. Oh, 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 oh. It's a painting by an animal. Oh, this is the painting by the the animal. From the rhino. The rhino. The rhino that they sent in a a listener submitted (gasps) sound. Of the rhino. Let me find that email while you guys carry the freaking show for five seconds. I'm sorry. I had the. It would have uh, been so funny if you just sat in silence. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we can. Um, <laughs> Rhino, I don't remember your name, but good choice in colors. 
It, Those are Christian's favorites. Pretty much. I, I, hey, I am a green and a purple boy. And a little bit of pink, a little splash to warm up the, the palette. This is so fun. I didn't Very know rhinos cool. could paint. Any animal can paint. They just have to have the supplies. What do you think the rhinos are? Uh, was trying to paint here? What do you think their vision was? I'm going to go with an interpretive dance. Interesting. So you think it's you think it's an abstract dance painted abstractly. Yeah. So like I also think you're holding it upside down. No, no, no. Cuz look, here's a foot and a nutsack and a foot and then there's like So it's new dancers. Well, yeah. Animals don't wear clothes. Fair enough. Some some it's really just depends on if they have the means. You know, they have to have a paint smock on to, so they don't get paint all <laughs> I hope he wore a paint smock. <laughs> what if he has cute little paint on his horn now? Aww. Fuck me, would you that be what? adorable? They put paint on rhino horns a lot to and elephant tusks to prevent poaching. Interesting. And they'll do that with like designer dogs too, like show dogs. They'll, they'll, fucking... they'll like dye their fur so that you can't steal them. Interesting. I think I would be more drawn to stealing a painted dog. Like if I could have a great pair of knees. With For like your a great pair of knees. Well, I don't have great pair of knees. Well. But if I could have like a great pair of knees with like a cool mural on the side of it, I would be stealing that dog. I mean, Absolutely. They don't paint a mural on the side of it. They just dye the fur. That's dumb. You're less likely to... I'm only getting one Fuck email, show dogs. And it's the rhino. Like the one that we played, the sound submission. But I know that they sent... The, I remember them sending us Because it said it. that the rhino painted it, but I cannot find it in the in anywhere or it wasn't Instagram DMs. But thank you. Uh, it's Co- weird. Colin? What if What if they didn't do that? Um, and what if we're just like... Uh, it was Colin. We're, yes. We're Keeper incepting Colin. each other. From Alabama. Quick, Alabama Zoo Rhino. That paints. Wears a little smock. Might have got paint on his When one, a sure. rhino wears a smock, how do you think they wear it? I think it's like a bib. Like a bib? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's not like how a cape. you wear a smock in, in general. Yeah, I can't find it. Sorry. Yeah, but when you wear a smock, you're standing upright. So, like, is it. I mean, is the rhino. I feel like a rhino is doing a lot of this. I feel like a rhino wears the smock around his cock. He is he paint- painting Boo. with his dick? No, he paints with his nipples. Rhinos famously have seven nipples. Interesting. Interesting. Thank you for sending in the mail. We also get other things sent into us like reviews. So head on over. There's a link in the description. Apple Podcasts. Leave a review. It helps us out a whole ton. And also while Erica's looking for the stories. I'm ready. Go listen to my other podcast. How about that? I am so sick of hearing it. No, that kidding. one doesn't quite help us out a ton, but it does help out Josh a ton, and it makes me happy to hear him happy. Friend requests from Josh and Joe everywhere that you find the judges. Yeah, and make sure to join their Patreon so you can hear their special guest next week. That's right. The week that this comes out, yeah, Christian's the- episode on the bonus episode is already out and alive and alive. And special guest Duncan Kastner is on there. And it's me and Emo Joseph, if you're not aware. And we just have a good old time. And here's one real quick review. Five stars. It's a great pod. I like to see what they think of the stories. I found them on YouTube and binged all the videos. Amazing. Never a dull moment with the group. That's right. If you send us a five-star review, we will guarantee read every single story that you read or send to us. And we'll not skip any of them. For eternity. Yep. We're forever indebted to you. But we don't just read listeners sending in stories to us we also go online ourselves and find silly little stories and so we can laugh at them and judge them and sometimes erica is the one finding the stories so take it away erica while i fix my freaking mic new (laughs) subreddit alert whoop choosing choosing beggars no it's not a new subreddit i don't think so we've done choosing beggars before I'll, i'll look it up you read Okay, it's so. not anywhere. It's gone with the rhino. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of gone with the wind. You do actually have something in your teeth. This is so fucked. Two weeks in a row? 
I I said on the way here, he said something ignorant to me. I can't remember. And I said, I'm not going <laughs> to. I, I said, I'm not going to tell you you have something in your teeth. I was like, I don't actually know if you do or not, but I'm not going to tell you if I do see it. But I'm not going to. I'm not going to get it you. out. Let me see. Yeah. It's staying there forever. Sorry. The listeners, you get to see it too. Because I, I told her that I was going to die happy knowing not having to know if I have anything in my teeth. It looks like it is a whoop. That surprises me. Oh, I can't find new subreddits, Joshua? No, you're the only one that does. I'm just surprised that we haven't done one. I guess in my brain, it's very close to uh, malicious compliance. Mm. But opposite. So the title of this is... Somebody sent this to me on Instagram. Flux. Absolute flux. You think I find my own stories nowadays? No. I know that you haven't lifted a finger in the last, I don't know, 12 months. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> when... Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's a hard word. Skip that word. Skip that word. <laughs> woman is asking for baby gifts back from a woman who lost her baby. Oh! <laughs> I didn't want to put this out here, but I have no choice. Think of a... Car- well, Karen? We'll just go with Karen. Sure. That's fine. Karen brought me some beautiful gifts for baby Benjamin for when he was born. A soft fleece blanket, a cuddly elephant, booties, some clothes, and a singing toy. I didn't ask for these things, as I said they were gifts. Well, as you all know, I lost Benjamin at 29 weeks. I gave birth to him, but he did not survive. Mm. A week later, Karen messages me asking if Benjamin used or touched the things that she bought, because if not, she wanted them back. He didn't touch any of it, right? (laughs) I wrapped him in the beautiful blanket she got him and he was buried with it. She wasn't too happy about this and asked for the seven pounds she spent on it back as well as the other gifts that could go to another one of our friends. That's not even that expensive of a gift. Can you fucking believe that? What an insane thing. Hey, were those baby shoes never worn? Because... I need them back. I kind of ate. Yeah. That's fucking... who, Who has the gall? Bro, I guess British people. That's my jaw was like, I, I my jaw was on the floor there. Right I uh, yeah. I can't believe. I just, I, <laughs> I don't know how you don't read the room a little bit. I don't know. Well, how not you... only that, but I feel like if you're gonna get somebody like that much stuff for a gift, like a blanket, an out, you know, all this stuff, like you gotta be pretty good friends with them, right? Yeah. No, I just got it that way. And then to just, like, they lost their child. Yeah. And you're going to ask for your shit back? Bro, and then she even said, like, uh, to give it to some of our other friends who need it, which means, like, let's say, hypothetically, you have baby Benjamin's blanket, and then you go over to Tina's house, and you see baby Larry's got it on. Yeah. That's going to fuck you up. Well, and I've... I feel like now I'd be pissed that I buried him in it. I'm like, man, fuck this bitch. Now that that blanket's going to be with my child forever. And No, you'd be happy that she could never get it back. Well, that's true, too. I wouldn't give it back to her anyway. <laughs> Ooh, buried only <sighs> your stuff with the baby. Sorry. Sorry. But that's the other thing, too, is like, you have to be pretty close with somebody. Like, if th- that's a very, very sentimental big deal to bury your child with something. So, like, I feel like they would have to be pretty close for her to so. choose that blanket. That's crazy. And that's the shit she comes back with. Oh, for, especially, and like, oh not that this God. would make it any better, but if it was like, you have to give me the 500 euros I spent on it. But for seven fucking euros, yeah. mm-hmm. which is like, what, like 13,000 American dollars at this point? Something like, yeah. It, it's fucking 40, chump 000. change. Yeah. Insane. Absolutely <sighs> insane to me. I can't believe that anyone, like... <laughs> I guess that's why your name's Karen. It's also just... I don't know. Insane to ever be like, hey, if you didn't open that gift, can I get that back? Though? Yeah, even a normal gift. I mean, other circumstances, I suppose, to be like, I overspent. I really need the money for this week's rent. Can I have the PS5 I bought for you? <laughs> but again, for seven euros, that's crazy. I mean, I don't know. I feel like... It's not decent to do that to anyone. Ever. No. Under any circumstance. You bought a gift. Right. You gave that person that gift. Maybe she was just hoping the mother was in such turmoil that like this would kind of all just be like too much. And she'd be like, I, yeah, I guess. Here you go. <laughs> like no. She couldn't even give it a second thought. Too worried about the death of her child. Have I told, I told a story on the pod where I gave a gift to somebody and they gave it back to me. Yeah. 
Well, we had to have told us on the pod. My ex coworker. The yeah. plant? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah I did tell that. Okay. Um, before we get too far away from it, how dare anybody name their child Larry? I said Larry. Yeah, Larry's... how how dare anybody name their child Larry? Well, the thing is, he's a little bit of a cucumber of a baby. I feel, Boo. Like, I, I feel like I should throw my carrot at you. And Why? Make, but I don't remember the carrot's name from VeggieTales. Uh, is there a carrot in VeggieTales? There better be. I don't know. There's, there's a cucumber. cucumber there's, there's a tomato. The tomato. There's I a think spinach. there's an old carrot. There's a spinach. Like okay. a leaf or a head of? A head of. What's a head of spinach look like? I've never seen one. A head of romaine lettuce? I've, I've never seen a head of spinach. I've only seen spinach leaves. You're actually I might have speaking been volumes romaine here. Lettuce. I've never oh, seen spinach. Yes, Maybe there is. I'm, That's a, I'm the dumb one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like, is Larry short for anything? <laughs> Lawrence. <laughs> You fool. <laughs> you fool. <laughs> That's an equally bad name. Christian, we're losing all of our Larry listeners. Oh, fuck. We're, <laughs> we're big with the Larrys. We're huge in the Larry We're community. number one ranked Apple podcasts for Larrys. Do you guys see that the ju- the VeggieTales dude came out being like, hey, I know I make Christian cartoons, but homosexual is pretty cool. I think it was like pro- Trans was it? I think it's pro trans and then pro abortion access. Too. Is that what it was? Yeah. It, now, just because you like him doesn't mean it's a Christian cartoon. Oh. <laughs> this one's from R slash True Off My Chest. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> my male thirty one girlfriend, twenty five female, told me that she will likely be okay with marrying me if we get a sperm donor. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Background: My girlfriend has had issues with my height ever since we started <laughs> officially dating around uh, eight months ago. That's the funniest thing to this, immediately. <laughs> this is my thought. <laughs> Get out of there! God, that's so long. <laughs> that's so long. That's longer than this guy is tall. <laughs> Literally, she's five nine and I'm five four. Ooh. Don't do it. Literal Larry is what I was going to say. <laughs> That's you. what I'm short for. <laughs> Larry is short for little Larry. I decided to have a cut. A what? I decided to have a see you next Tuesday. I decided to have a candid conversation with her and told her I love her and want to marry her and said I would have to cut my losses if she's unable to accept my height and socioeconomic status. Candidly, she told me that the main issue was not necessarily my socioeconomic status or even race. I don't... <laughs> I, that came out of left field. I just feel like having a sperm donor doesn't fix that, like, hey, you're, you're kind of poor. Well, let's get some rich cum. Depends on how much into eugenics you are. Oh, hey, fair enough. Maybe she's just straight up a Nazi. Since I make good money now, even though she has more assets, you didn't let me finish the sentence. So now it sounds like I'm a bad reader like Christian, but (laughs) really, it's just boo. (laughs) You can't boo me with my own boo. Erica, you're going (laughs) to... Erica, you're going to hit that every time Christian has a run-on sentence. (laughs) The running? It's going to be a three-hour episode. Oh, my God. Um, (laughs) so long i lost my spot this is probably better for you because now you get to start at the top of the sentence it doesn't sound like you read bad it's a run-on sentence it takes too long don't push it (laughs) but because she also doesn't want to have short children why she said she would be okay with the possibility of getting married if we got a sperm donor of a man that's tall at least six feet and preferably white I am a person of color. That's crazy. I can't help but to feel bothered, especially since she has mental illness running her and her family. Whoa. She did agree and say she would be open to adoption maybe, but that she does prefer to have a biological child of her own. So we did resolve some things, but we will see moving forward. I like how we went into it being like, it's a deal breaker if you say anything about my height. And she's like, well, your height. And he's like, we'll work on it. 
<laughs> Edit. Hot. We'll figure that out. <laughs> I'm seeing a lot of hate here. She didn't say she only wanted a white sperm donor. She would be fine if it was the same as me. I'm indigenous. So she's fine if it's an indigenous I, sperm donor. Why did you or write? white? But she said preferably white. So that's mm, I don't neither. know why you guys are all hating on my future wife. <laughs> Both of these people shouldn't have kids. Probably. Well, like sounds nice enough. But he sounds like he was literally like, well, she does dumb. have mental illness issues. <laughs> I forgot about that part. <laughs> it's like, if you're going to go through a nitpick, like every single past thing that like a family has, you're, everybody has shit in their family that is like not unpreferable. Mine. Not mine. Except for Christians. It, honestly, that's true. No, no I, you, your family has a big ass ugly face. <laughs> Almost forgot the one collector trait that no, like, escapes none. I like seven know. Larrys in your family. Come on. I was going to say thyroid issues. That's true. You're, yeah. Which contributes to the big ass ugly face. It's a symptom, <laughs> not a. I know. Thyroid's in your throat. Yeah, but you, it, it, it overexpresses and then it, you get. You get big ass ugly face. <laughs> you get gums that just catch leafy greens. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, please say psych. <laughs> please say psych right now. Dude. I'm um, not gonna cry in the pod. Don't worry. <laughs> uh, what was I saying? Oh, I think you have to be over six foot to to donate sperm. Oh, do you, you really? You have to. You have, dude, to, it's, you have to have a bachelor. Are crazy. It's, it's a pretty much just like straight like like uh like uh white supremacist shit. Like you have to be over six foot. You like have to have a bachelor's degree minimum. You can't have like any sense of like diabetes or like anything that's like a uh, uh, health. Her- hereditary health issue, yeah. That's like super, super narrow to like donate. Sperm. The doctor th- has to think you're hot. Yeah, it's like super narrow. So like, they it's literally just eugenics, which is kind of crazy. And then you know, then the doctor just instead of even using your donated sperm, just uses his own, his own. And thousands of children. So that's yeah. cool. Have you not heard about that? Yes, I've heard okay. about that. We need to watch that documentary. I heard it's pretty good. Emphasis on the doc. <laughs> he puts the... No, I'm not going to say it. He puts the men. No. He puts the doc. Q, the cum. Ah. <laughs> it's the cum and doc cum men. Yeah. Terry. We put the back in the B right. Nice. See you on the other side of the break. Okay, bye. Oh, my God. I swear you doubled the length on that. (laughs) (laughs) Erica, what's a language in school you wish you could have learned? French. French is pretty cool. For me personally, it would have been Spanish more. I would have learned more Spanish. Mas espanol, por favor. I would have loved to learn Japanese. Oh, Thanks for been, asking. That would have been cool. We didn't get to you yet, but we did get to this week's sponsor, Babbel. Because with Babbel, you only need 10 minutes to learn a complete lesson. You can start having real-life conversations in a new language in as little as three weeks. So, Erica... That's so fast. That's insane. I've spent two years learning Spanish and... Hasta luego. I couldn't... I got, I got basura. <laughs> Babbel is the language learning app that sold more than 10 million subscriptions. Thanks to Babbel's addictively fun and easy bite-sized language lessons, you can finally cross learning that new language off your list. The thing about other language learning apps is they use AI. Mm. And you know what AI stands for? Artificial intelligence? No, it stands for absolutely in unintelligible. The U is silent. Inintelligible. <laughs> you could have said insufferable. Babbel lessons were created by over 149, but less than 151 potentially language experts and voiced by real native speakers, not computers. That was always the worst part about learning a language in Spanish class was the voices that they would use for the audio listening parts were freaking terrible. Yes, I can 100% agree with that. It's like having Christian read English for someone. Babbel's teaching methods are scientifically proven to be effective. Erica, did you not know this? I do know science. And with Babbel, you can choose from 14 different languages, including Spanish for you, Josh, French for you, Erica, 
or maybe Italian or German for you listeners. It sounds like there are just so many different ways to learn with Babbel. And in addition to lessons, you can access podcasts. Love podcasts here. We love them over here. Games. Love video games here. Videos. I love love videos. videos. Christian is notoriously a YouTube kid. Stories and even live classes. Plus, it comes with a 20-day money-back guarantee. You know I love the money-back guarantee. Start your new language learning journey today with Babbel. Right now you can get not 50% off, but 55% percent off your subscription when you go to babbel.com slash judges that's b-a-b-b-e-l dot com slash j-u-d-g-i-e-s that's 55 percent off your subscription it's big savings just in time for the holidays and hey who wouldn't want to go to their christmas party saying feliz cumpleaños jesus (laughs) jesus jesus babel (laughs) language for life thanks babel Gracias, Babel. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to this side of the podcast. Now, this is the side of the podcast where we get into a little thing that we like to call the circle jerk. And that's where we sort of jerge around the circle. We kind of just do whatever the hell we want. Heck, we want. So I'm swearing on this part. We're going to do a little bit of a crossover type thing. We're getting into a little bit of this podcast will kill you territory. <gasps> We're going over infectious disease. Have you ever heard of the cat parasite that sells motorcycles? Mm, what is it? Have called? I piqued your interest? <clears throat> Toxoplasmosis? Yes. But they also sell motorcycles on the side. So there's a protozoa called Taxo- Toxoplasma gondii. Mm-hmm. Makes an unobtrusive home in nearly every warm-blooded species. Except but, me. Except for Christian. What's one of the positives of his... But probably l- you. <clears throat> but it's... Pr- you guys have cats. But its prolific life is limited. Toxo can only reproduce in cat stomachs. The parasite, which causes mild to non-existent flu-like symptoms, has a clever trick up its sleeve to make sure it never... Wi- it always winds up where it needs to be. Toxo-infected rats are completely healthy but abnormally attracted to cat urine. So the rats get more and more daring, want to go sniff the piss, cats eat the rats, okay. reproduces in the cat. Typical life cycle of a... Little sexual deviant rats, okay. Yeah. Like getting pissed on. Yeah. I feel like this is kind of... This article was written by a rat to be like, it was the it was the protozoa. <laughs> it wasn't me trying to sniff the piss. <laughs> I couldn't stop. <laughs> So far, so good for the parasite survival... Stri- oh, I'm sorry. This is from nextnature.net. I didn't write this. So far, so oh. good for the parasite's survival strategy. Typical cycle of a, of a yeah, parasite yeah, like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But there's a catch for us humans. Are we all humans here? Or are we yeah, dancers? Yeah, no, totally. <laughs> Very good cover-up, Alien Rick, that we... <laughs> replace. Pregnant Rick was sort of growing her yeah. We're like, get her out of here. Alien <laughs> Rick, get in here. Toxoplasma messes with human brain chemistry in much the same way it does with rodents. I was just gonna, I was just thinking about The Sims because, like, <laughs> <laughs> I was just thinking about Where's all of our when, Sims. No, listen, when you're playing The Sims and you're talking about aliens and there's an alien in disguise as a human, they then automatically spin out and they're in their alien form. So I was like, how funny would it be if editor take editor? out? You want, hang editor on. do tons and tons of effort. Do you want me to make you spin in a circle with the Scooby-Doo <laughs> noise effect? And then now you have green skin for the rest of the episode? Yeah. The whole episode? Not the whole episode. Yeah. No, I don't. <laughs> All right. So have you heard about this, Erica, about the different effects that Toxo can have on men and women? Yes. Well, then fine. I have it. I guess this is an interesting to Erica. Actually, uh, this podcast will kill you. Did a whole episode on toxoplasmosis. How Better recently? than you. Like a year and a half Last ago. Last week. Two years right, we're ago. fine. We're not infringing on this. It's territory. coming out on October 24th. I mean, they talked about it for almost two hours because they're, you know, intelligent, scientific women. Dumbass. They're brilliant, oh, they're beautiful women? goddesses. They can't be smart. <laughs> say, say psych right now. Psych right now. We're waiting for Erica to find the carrot. Editor's note, put in a bonk, right? 
now <laughs> and now. No, give that back to me. I missed. You only get one an episode, one and a half. That's too heavy. <clears throat> so the effects are heavy. sex dependent. Toxo makes men more distrustful of authority, more jealous, and more likely to engage in rule bending and breaking. It makes you a bad boy. It, again, this sounds like it's written by like a person trying to defend themselves of like, babe, we have cats. That's why I was fucking out late drinking and uh, speeding against the limits. Mm. Why are you looking at me like that? Mm. <laughs> Male motorcyclists are disproportionately affected. In a perverse twist, motorists of either sex who have T. Gondii are three to four times more likely to die in car accidents either from their increased disregard of the speed limit or because the parasite wears down reaction times. I feel I, like we got to figure that one out. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> That's let's, two vastly different things. Let's hammer that one out. <laughs> I Now that you say that, like my brain is like, I have heard about this before where motorcycle people are dying from this disease. There's even shaky evidence that T. Gondii correlates, correlates with success on the football field, soccer, at least oh. in predicting the winners of the World Cup. What? Because they're more risk adverse. And so okay. they take shots, blah, 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 blah. Women get the sweeter half of the brain parasite. They get big boobs or small boobs, depending on what they want. <laughs> <laughs> Women harboring T. Gandhi are considered by others to be more cheerful, warm hearted, and sexually attractive. Am I, am I wrong? What does that mean? How come men get like aggression and women get hot? How does that work? I'm I'm just and the science doesn't add up here. They are also out they also outspend their uninfected sisters when it comes to clothing. Women be shopping. Hey, you know what? This is explaining a lot about my wife. <laughs> In some ways, Talk Show is the microbial mascot of romantic comedies, turning women into spendy social butterflies and their dates into over-masculine dolts. But take care, before you go out to find some infectious cat feces to gussy up your social appeal, it's important to point out that the personality changes are statistically significant, but still only minor. Which really feels like a fucking, as a science guy, really feels like a cop-out in this article to be like, oh, they're significant, but like, oh, it's really hard to prove it. <laughs> I swear, I swear it's happening, but uh, it's happened to like two of my friends. Researchers still disagree as to how and even if Toxo alters behavior. It could be that the personality predisposes people to the infection and not the other way around. Which, I mean, this, is, just a, sense. this is obviously just an article, but doesn't that make more sense? Yes. <laughs> to be like, hmm, maybe the people who were already speeding and shopping just happen to have Toxoplasma gondii. Ever give that a thought? No, that's stupid. <laughs> that's stupid. And they want to write that in a scientific article. And then it goes on to say how Toxo can actually kill people that have weakened immune systems because it is a parasite living inside you, yada, yada, yada. Now, I thought that was interesting because as somebody, again, I'm a little bit of a scientist and I'm not a woman. Okay. So, no, I don't hold a fucking candle to this podcast to kill you. But I do think it's really funny, like that article that was written, like clearly just for the clickbait of like, this parasite sells motorcyclists when in the article itself was like, ah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but I found a evolutionary psych psychology journal paper. Okay. I'm just going to read the abstract. Okay. So it's a made up science but about a made up disease. This says can effects. Can I have carrot back so I can beat Christian with it? Yeah, that's fair enough. This seems very interesting to me, which again, just one scientific one scientific study could be uh, bullshit if not peer reviewed. Yada yada yada. Effects of latent toxoplasmosis on political beliefs and values. Interesting. Uh -oh. So I'm just going to read the abstract, which just means an overview of the paper. Before we get too deep, let's take a guess at what we think their political standings are. Libertarian. What do you think? Green party. Uh, <laughs> just fucking the, I don't know. <laughs> Humans infected by Taxoplasma gondii express no specific symptoms, which just completely, completely anti that entire article. Yeah. But manifest higher incidence of many diseases, disorders, and differences in personality and behavior. The aim of this study was to compare the political beliefs and values of Taxoplasma infected and Taxoplasma free participants. We measured beliefs and values of 23, 2,300... 
2,315 responders via an online survey, which that's a pretty good sample size for uh, yeah. an article. Or for a, that a is a pretty decent sample size. Using political beliefs and values, what? How, if it's an online survey, how do we know who's infected and who's not? How are they controlling that? Um, I due guess. to a break in HIPAA, we only sent the surveys to infected people. <laughs> I don't know. But out of the 2,300 responders, 477 were confirmed to be toxoplasma infected. Hmm. So that means obviously 1,900. Now the 477 kind of small. Using the political beliefs and values inventory, this study showed toxoplasma infected and toxoplasma free participants of our cross-sectional study differed in three out of four factors, which scoring higher in tribalism and lower in cultural liberal liberalism and anti-authoritarianism. Anti Meaning they differed on uh, being in uh, specific social groups, lower in like being more open minded and free to cultural beliefs and how they differed on how they view authoritarian figures. We found sex differences in political beliefs associated <coughs> with Taxo as well. Infected women scored higher in tribalism and lower in cultural liberalism. So it made them more like far right if we got Taxo for women. Compared to the toxoplasma free control group, while infected men scored higher in economic equity. So it made men more socialist and women more like shut in racist. Okay. <laughs> These results fit with sexual differences in but behavior. Hot shut in racist. But they are sexy in shop. So. Mm. These results fit with sexual differences in behavior and attitude observed after toxo infection. Controlling for the effect of worse physical health and mental health had little impact, suggesting that impaired health did not cause these changes, meaning toxo had no effect on their health. Rather than adaption to prevalence of parasites, as suggested by parasite stress theory, the differences might be side effects of long-term mild inflammatory reaction. However, more research needs to be done. Isn't that interesting? It's weird that it causes like such a wide array of uh, symptoms, especially because it's one of those things that you don't really it's not like you get the flu and you're like, I have the flu. I got all of these really obvious symptoms like you can get affected by Toxo and then just like Trump makes sense. Also, I'm buying two coats today, even though I only need one. You're cleaning out a litter box. Next thing you know, you're, you're on your Yamaha going 180 down the highway. And that's why you should use Pretty Litter to make sure it's dust-free and safe for you and your cats. Not sponsored this episode. Thoughts, Erica? Oh, I loved it. It was super interesting. I mean, I, I already knew all of that, but... Whoa. Yeah. About the political stuff? No. <laughs> you motherfucker. You got me going. <laughs> Did... There's a theory that Sam Kinison, the stand-up comedian, had toxoplasmosis, I'm pretty sure, because he was, like, a normal dude, and then all of a sudden, like, became, like, kind of bonkers. And hmm. they're like, they, we think it's because of this. Hmm. What not that strange? Like, that just, like, we've, I mean, but, like, Egyptians were the first people to, like, uh, domesticate cats, right? Mm -hmm. It's strange that like culture six thousand years ago was like these things are pretty fucking cool, and then now we're like, well, but I don't care if their shit gets me sick. I like them. Yeah. They're cuddly. <laughs> like, makes you kind of wonder if it was the parasites that were like, hey, these things are pretty cool. Interesting. Yeah, that's I mean, why to be, I like cleaning up the litter. Box that's why so you much. like to smell like cat piss because wow. you're a little rat boy. A little rat boy with a fat, f <laughs> dumb fucking face. Pregnant that, women can't clean out the litter boxes. Cause, and that's because of Toxo. Yeah. And it, it's very dangerous for the baby. So they would come out riding a motorcycle or what? Yeah. the <laughs> And the birth canal cannot fit a motorcycle. Yeah. The women most likely won't have any effects from it, but the, it could be fatal to the infant. That's crazy. That's very scary. Is that like, is it like heart, brain, development related or? Oh. Interesting. Or they, they just, they come out and they're already trying to buy shit. And you're like, hey, <laughs> mama just had fucking seven stitches in her in her gooch. I can't afford no fucking baby motorcycle. <laughs> $60 a stitch, baby. Actually, I don't know if that's true. That, that seems, seems affordable, reasonable. right? That seems reasonable. <laughs> <laughs> this goddamn <laughs> national health care. I wish. Fuckers. Oh, that, that is that is funny where we're like, yeah, 60 bucks a stitch sounds good because we're American. Yeah. 
Let me get that, please. Speaking of, did anybody catch the Herschel Walker and Reverend Raphael Warnack debate? I sure didn't. Where Herschel Walker, when asked on how do you feel about not like like hey Herschel, how come you don't want to cap insulin prices? And he said, just don't get diabetes, idiot. Eat better. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? I didn't see that part, but I did see where he pulled out the <laughs> he pulled the, out a fake the badge. deputy badge, like the Herschel Walker has severe CTE. And that is unconfirmed because you have to be dead to diagnose it. But holy fuck. Sorry, Georgia. Please vote for Raphael Warnock in your upcoming election. And now it's time for our listener submitted story. But before those stories, we always play a little listener submitted sound, which you can send to us over on judgespot at gmail.com. And make sure to have in the subject line. I don't. I don't think I like calling it the subject. The title. Okay, I have it in the title. That's a listener's minute audio. This one comes from Bianca. Hi, Judges. Hello. I'm a listener Hi. from Chile. Ooh. I first got into the pod by TikTok, and now, unexpectedly, Mondays have become my favorite day because I get to listen to a new episode. Do you think You're we could? Welcome. Do you think we could fix Garfield? It's <laughs> <laughs> a really good question. Hope you're all having a great day and best wishes for baby Judgy. And here's their sound. Hola a todos y bienvenidos de vuelta al lugar más criticón del... And here's the sound. Hola a todos y bienvenidos de vuelta al lugar más criticón del internet. Mi nombre es José, mi nombre es Erika y mi nombre es Cristian. Y somos los Judgis. All right, so now we have to learn that. So we can do the intro in Spanish. Yeah, that was really good. I thought you were about to say like we had to we have to learn Spanish so we know what she's saying. Like I figured it out after <laughs> figure out that that's our. I figured intro. out after mi nombre es Erica and mi nombre es Jose really threw me for a freaking loop. <laughs> yeah, but that mi one nombre es Erica. Me. I was like, ah, that's the intro. Wonderful, Bianca. Thank you very much. Very cool. think they or should I say, it. grazie? Incorrect. Pardon. No. Oh. Uh, gracias. I mean, kind of. Isn't. I was Don't trying to go French. Shay. I don't know what French for thank you is. Merci. That's Italian, isn't it? No. No. Grazie is Italian. Um, you're right. So this comes from Sierra. <laughs> Look at this big dumb face looking at me. You expect me just to listen to you? <laughs> I like your big dumb face. Thanks. <laughs> Earlier, <laughs> I got home from uh, work, and Aurora comes home, and she looks at me. And she goes, "What's wrong with your lips? They're all cracked and blue." And I was like, "Thanks. I have to be on camera in two hours. <laughs> Thank You're you." You're looking <laughs> ugly as fuck today. I hope you don't have to record. And then she's like, "Oh, I guess it was just the light." And I was like, "Fuck, fuck it. <laughs> no, no, no. It's fine. It's fine. It's uh, just no one will notice. It was the light. Just don't have light on you." <laughs> Can you do this one in a dark room and have it like be like dark room special? You're just gonna really need to eat that mic today. <laughs> Judges after dark. <laughs> this one's from Sierra on Instagram. Okay, I have to share a shitty dad slash mom story. Erica, this is for you. You're not alone on the shitty dad life. Appreciate you. Olson. Olson doesn't have a shitty dad. Not yet. He's got a shitty grandpa. And you left him with Glenn? No. <laughs> <laughs> No, Glenn could never. So my dad has never been in my life, and he made the choice to leave my mom when she was pregnant with me. So that's why he was shitty. But this story also includes a shitty mom, too. Uh-oh. Moms can be shitty, too. Women do be shitty sometimes. Sometimes. Mostly men. Sometimes women. And hey, non-binary folk, you get the freaking pass too often. Can I say that? There's some bad non-binary hey, folk out there. There's a couple shitters out there, too. <laughs> My mom said that she wasn't talking to him, but turns out that was a lie. <gasps> he was sending child support sometimes, and my mom would message him about keeping up with the payments. Well, eventually, he stopped paying. <gasps> Her solution was to catfish him as me. She made a fake Facebook profile of me and pretended to be me to convince him to send child support. Imagine me at 15 years old seeing my own name as a suggested suggested friend request. That's how I found out someone created a face, fake Facebook account of me. I found out it was my mom because she left her laptop open and there was a fake account. Idiot. 
I did confront her, and all she said was, he stopped answering my messages. What was I supposed to do? <laughs> yeah. What? Hey, it was the Toxo. <laughs> I have the identity theft. What, what else did I have left to do? Honey, it was the Toxo talking. <laughs> now I'm 25, and she pretends it never happened. Also, it's okay to laugh and joke about this. Good, because they did. I went to therapy and pre- and, pro- and proceed a lot of this process. I knew what you meant. I am also a therapist myself, so I will be okay if you make fun Flux. of the situation. Also, people with trauma use dark humor to cope all the time. Yeah. Is that it? That's it. Hey. Yeah. Fuck. Hey. Fuck your mom and fuck your dad, dude. I don't know which one. Obviously Boo. not. Uh, fuck your mom. Fuck your dad. Yeah. We're we're first good supportive parents like Christian and Erica. Hey, only times will tell. What if I become a little fucker? What if I get toxoplasmosis and I start wheeling in my motorcycle? It's it's possible that you did get it because we have cats. And oh, I made you do all the litter box for the last nine I've months. I've been wanting to do a wheelie so bad for the last nine months. Christian Christian with more risk adverseness would just be him getting like one extra hobby a month. He <laughs> would just like would have bought a leather working kit. Yeah. He like would have just committed to the bit with Gundam stuff instead of just like, oh, that's such a cool RX-78 figurine. I should get another one and not have to have his friends buy it for him. <laughs> You're a little stinker, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> Christian, less risk adverse Christian would be like, hey, Josh, we're going to Chipotle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fuck. <laughs> hey, Josh. Oh, we're coming over at 630 tonight. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not leave asking. an open-ended. <laughs> I'm not, hey, what time works for you the same time as every week? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why you're airing our dirty laundry on the air like this. Hey, <laughs> what time are you going to be available on Friday? <laughs> 6.30 or any time? You just, hey, you tell me. Hey, what time is the quarter after 7? 7? 7.15? <laughs> Erica, are you going to read the one that you previewed? With Joe on the bonus pod after we hit stopped recording. Is that where we read it? Is that where we read you it? You said you were going to read it on the next time you read, and then this is the next time you read. We were get, she's getting her story, and she's like, did I read this one already? And she's like reading it, and I'm like, this sounds so familiar. You read it to us, and you're like, I got to read it to you guys, but this was off after we stopped recording. That, pull it up. I deleted it. You deleted, you deleted it? <laughs> was it an Instagram message? Probably I've gotten thousands of Instagram messages. Do remember thousands? I had a I had a vacation with lots of Instagram stories and people were replying to them. Mm, flex, yeah, very big flex. What an absolute flex on us! Absolute flex on us. Well, goddamn. Let me. <sighs> what was it? What was the premise? It was like boyfriend using my blanket. A blanket, yes. Two X chromosomes. Oh, I found it. Did you get it? Yep. Two X chromosomes. Yep. All right. Which we've done that before, haven't we? Yes. Yes. I think we did it in season one. Okay, well, this is going to be a little bit of a longer episode then because I have to read my other one too. Okay. Because it's a good one. This is going to you, the one guy in the comments that <laughs> yelled at us for having an episode two minutes too short. <laughs> did you see that? Yeah. <laughs> like, hey, stop making these shorter. It was 59 minutes. Our normal episodes are like an hour and three minutes. <laughs> How do I approach telling my husband to stop jerking off into my blanket. Wonderful. Wonderful <laughs> title. This isn't TikTok safe, so it's good no. that you're reading another one. But it really does just catch you. I'm going to try. When <laughs> We're going to get banned on TikTok. <laughs> when your English teacher tells you to open with a hook, this is how you do it. <laughs> Abraham Lincoln won't stop jerking off onto <laughs> anti-slavery methods. I don't know. I was going oh. for a historical paper. Okay. It didn't work. It no. was a hook. <laughs> Oh. Would you not read that paper? <laughs> no, I probably wouldn't. I, 26 female, have been married to my husband, 28 male, for around three years now. I have always known and been fine with him masturbating and am aware that he uses blankets to catch his load. Insane. That is just so just, impractical. There's so many better things yeah. to not come on to. He, was, he has a gaming room that he has a specific blanket he uses, but also would use another smaller blanket or his own for our bed uh, before work or on weekends. We use separate blankets as we have different preferences and it works out really well. Yeah, my, my preference too would be that it doesn't have cum on it. <laughs> Not a cummy blanket. I, I, so it's sort of like 
I have like this nice down soft comforter and he's got a crusty jizz filled thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he has a fleece blanket that he uses and I have a down comforter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Obviously. Sounds like you're the one who got fleeced, honey. A few months. <laughs> Can I say I hate the soundboard? No, Boo. you can't say that. It's uh, <laughs> in your contract that you can't say that. Okay, never said it. A few months back, I noticed crunchy spots as I would readjust my blanket at night and decided I would bring it up while he was in a good mood. While he's in a good mood. Don't want to anger him. Mm. I casually said I knew he was using my blanket and asked him to stop. He did for a few weeks, but it started back up over time. Currently, I take my blanket out of the room with me as I tried moving it to my side of the bed on the floor, but he would get up. To go get it to complete his mission. That's so oh, insane. To go out of your way to it's spite your wife is fucking insane. I wake up with our little one a couple hours before he does every oh, weekend. We have a kid. That's a whole other issue. So he uses that time with my blanket if he gets the opportunity. The problem is I'm a very non-confrontational person. And even bringing it up the first time took some building up to. I cry at the first start of any high emotion, both sad and happy. Even with coping Kinda mechanisms, mean. I have learned along the way, and I feel weak because of it. Have you tried catching Toxo? Might help. Don't feel bad about that. No. A lot of people... Hey, I'm a crier. Uh, the thing well, is, crier. it's normal to cry when your husband's jizzing on all your stuff. True. But also, <laughs> they say that tears are just the product of your emotions, like... You have too much of one single emotion. Mm. Your body gets rid of that emotion in the form of tears. Interesting. Do you know what hmm. I'm saying? This husband gets rid of it in the form of And that's why tears. you cry laugh. Mm -hmm. You cry sad. Yeah. Cry You're, angry. You've got oh so God. much sad that your body doesn't know what to do with all of it. So it comes out in tears. Or mm. you've got so much anger that it mm. just comes out in tears. Mm. Or when you have that feeling of too much dust in your eye. And your body's like, get it out of here. Yeah, <laughs> that is that is an that is an that is an emotion. <laughs> Would you like a drink of my root beer? No, I'll compose myself. So he's got too much stuff in his throat, so now he's crying. <laughs> If he has already not listened with me asking nicely, how would you recommend asking again? Razor how can blades. I even reprimand that if he doesn't listen? Anyone have any recommendations for building confidence in uncomfortable conversations? Toxoplasmosis. The top comment says, you are... <laughs> <laughs> he needs root beer. Don't listen to him. <laughs> the lid's already, like, almost off. Top comment. The top comment says, you are severely underreacting, and I could not agree more. Who... The very first time you come in my blanket, I'm gonna freak out. Yeah. It's like it's Okay, maybe not. The first the first time I might be like, "Hey, dude, what the <laughs> fuck? Like don't do that. Please don't do that." Yeah. I mean like <clears throat> uh, it's more I, don't, I think it's more common uh outside of America for people to use two blankets in one bed. Which okay. the, I'm not Which, judging about that. No. That's totally fine. But uh, but so it's but like when you're when you're having sex and like stuff gets places, obviously n not no one is like Sometimes to be oh there's stick sticky mm -hmm, or whatever mm -hmm, there's mm -hmm. something here let's wash the thing when but it's a mutual when it's a mutual happening. thing but for it to happen over and over as a individual act and then to call it out and not have it addressed after one time it feels so bad because she is literally like this is a me problem I need to work on myself to get like more confident which is like no the that's opposite not the issue here. <laughs> it's like, your husband is walking and coming all over you. Mm -hmm. It's insane. Mm -hmm. I just... It, none of it makes sense. It's impractic, It's an impractical thing to use That's what to bothers collect. Yeah. yeah. The fact that he uses four blankets... Like, she mentioned, like, four blankets. And it's like, oh, we can't use a towel... What are you going to do? What's going on here? They, that, that's, I mean, as somebody who loves optimization, that's what drives me insane. It's like, wow, well, what are you doing? Either use one blanket or use something that's not a blanket. Use yeah. what most people use, which is something that's disposable. <laughs> that yeah. way you can <laughs> get rid of it. It makes no fucking sense whatsoever. The entire story is fucking insane. And yes. just like the hat. 
I don't know how you're jerking off and you're like, quick, I gotta get across the bed to get my wife's blanket. <laughs> like I, you, like that's what it, that's what I'm saying. Like he can't finish unless it's on her blanket. That's crazy. That's some bullshit. Well, mine's all crusted up. Well, that's your own fucking fault. Here's, <laughs> guys, we're not taking into account his masturbation method where he kind of just gets hard and rolls around on the bed and it just happens to be he ends up on his wife's side when he's finishing. What? Is there some animal that does that, isn't there? This guy. <laughs> he's an animal. He is an animal. Uh, I don't know. But her, she's saying that she would put her blanket on yeah. the floor on her yeah. side of the bed and he would get up and go get it. She hey, she never caught him in the act. She doesn't know how it works. I'm just telling you as hey, as a roller. <laughs> as like as like as a roller. I'm coming out as I'm bravely coming out as a roller. Some people do masturbate like that. Probably. People that don't have arms or feet. Uh I've heard that some uh trans women before they know that they're trans use that as a way to masturbate because they don't feel right touching themselves. Interesting. Very interesting. But I've only, that's about that. entirely anecdotal. I've only heard that like a few times. Hmm. But some people like to just use the pressure and stuff like that. Yeah. Okay. Either way, get a special pair of cum shorts. Yeah. <laughs> that I way just... your fucking wife doesn't have to sleep with your cum blanket. He just assumed it's a duvet. You can just take the sheet, the top cover off, and you wash it. You don't have to wash an entire it's, blanket. It's so easy to not to come on other people's stuff. It's the yeah. lowest bar. It's in sickness and in health and in no jizz on my sheets, please. <laughs> those are the two big vows in marriage. If those words are not in your vows when you get married someday... And, oh, mine? <laughs> I'm going... When they say, does anybody uh, have anything to just stand up against this wedding? I'm going to fucking stand up and be like, mm, what about the cum in your sheets? Erica, you are you will be officiating it, so you will have to say, does anybody have anything? Uh, yeah, this bitch does. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it's me, actually. I have something to say. Um, I also... The fact that she asked you nicely once, mm-hmm. and then you didn't fucking listen, Yeah, I... How many times have I have we had this conversation where like I, <laughs> no 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 you're not in trouble you're not in trouble how many times has she, have you come on her blanket Christian Fuck no her. specifically my stupid ass sister she will do something that's annoying and I'll say nicely and I think I might have already said this on the pod before but like I will say it nicely five fucking times yeah and then when I freak the fuck out and start being a psychopath. And you're like, oh my god, you're freaking out. Why are you freaking out? Because I fucking asked nicely seven times and you don't listen. Oh, was it five or seven? <laughs> Erica, I hear you have one more story for us. It's the story of how I kicked Christian's ass. <laughs> I hate it. I hate that sound every time. It's so, so funny. funny. It's so gold. Hold on. What a grand story. <laughs> what it was a good story. I'm so glad you mentioned it. I've been waiting cuz like the last episode the last time we recorded I was like, oh, this must be an Eric episode and then it was wah, wah, Christian. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this one's from r slash true off my chest. My no, am I the assholes this episode? Oh, what? I can give you one. No, 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 no. no, 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 no. I'm no. just making an observation. I do have one. No, no. no. You said you had. Spaghetti. You said you had to read this one. I do. Hold on. My husband got our girlfriend pregnant without discussing it with me. Okay. You, oh, 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 oh. My husband, 38 male, and I, 30 female, are in an open marriage. We've been married for five years and open for the past two. Currently, we have a long-term girlfriend, 26 female, that we have both been with for just over a year. I'm also 30 weeks pregnant, and we're all so excited to welcome our daughter into the world soon. Our relationship and time in the bedroom has never been better, until the other day when our girlfriend announced her pregnancy to us. Mm. I was so surprised. I didn't know that she had been seeing anyone else. After I congratulated her, I asked who the father was, and she said that it was my husband's. This was something that we never talked about at all, so I politely asked her to leave while I discussed this with my husband. Mm -hmm. Please step out of the room while I freak the fuck out. (laughs) (laughs) Apparently, her seeing me pregnant and so excited convinced her that she was ready for motherhood herself, and she told my husband that she would be stopping her birth control. My husband never told this to me, and neither did our girlfriend. 
So the entire time we've been together for the past, I think it's four months. I have something that's like covering it. I think it's the past four months. Uh, they were having completely unprotected sex without my knowledge, which was not part of our arrangement. I'm still his wife and she is just our girlfriend. I feel so betrayed by my husband to go behind my back like that. They don't understand why I'm mad. They think that I should be happy. I was aware that my husband has a breeding fetish. I was going to say, he clearly is a breeding king. So do I. But this is much different than just role-playing situations, and they don't seem to understand that. Yeah, I think they took the role-play too far by stopping birth control. Yeah. (laughs) I don't know how else to express to them how disrespectful that was to me. Edit. We had a written agreement that birth control is to be used with our partners. We even discussed in the same written agreement that any pregnancies would not continue if it were to fail, but this was intentional and non-consensual. Wow. That is a sticky situation. Yeah. I mean, it sucks that, yeah, they like... They had a, a full on agreement here. There was yeah. no like, it was black and white. Yeah. And what the, which is wonderful. <clears throat> like if you're going to have that kind of relationship, that type of communication has to happen. Yeah. yeah. This is clearly why you need <laughs> that communication, and it really sucks that it failed. Yeah, I mean, yeah, she, clearly she knew of her husband's fetish and decided to put it in writing like hey you can't act on this yeah because it has longer term effects than just (laughs) yeah like Uh it'd be one thing if she was like you can't have a foot fetish on anybody else because like that's you know whatever but a baby is gonna be made now yeah you're bringing another human being into this yeah that they don't get to choose the situation they're born in yeah yeah i mean so just what a mess yeah. I guess you got a divorce, right? I mean, that's just straight I cheating. Yeah. I like what? How you can never trust him again? Literally, because that's the thing. Like, it's not even the fact that you know he's with another woman. He is with another woman doing things explicitly against I, your agreement, against the rules of the relationship. Yeah. That is cheating. Yeah. Yeah, you can't have hard set boundaries and be like, "I'm gonna play with them." I'm going to see what happens yeah, if we yeah. actively decide to stop taking the thing that's 99.9% effective against births. Mm-hmm. Ah, man. It's really unfortunate. Kind of fuck the girlfriend too, though, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I mean, she was clearly in on it. Both yeah. parties are in the wrong here. Oh, she knew the agreement as well. Yeah. And if she, she is also, the wife clearly states here that we are both in a relationship with her. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so it was just as much on the girlfriend to tell the wife, hey, this is what I want. Like they can change the agreement. Yeah. If you know, they can discussed. write up a new contract or whatever, but all three have to be privy to it. <laughs> hey, you know what? No, it, let's a little bit of blame on the wife too for giving the girlfriend baby fever. <laughs> That's true. That is true. <laughs> that is true. Just like just like Toxo is in the poop of cats, baby fever is in the poop of pregnant women. When you're around it too much, you get baby fever. That's, yeah. It makes men more uh more coming and it makes women more receiving of cum. That's just science. That's, That's science. There's an article on it. There's an article, yep. Tr- Maxim.com or whatever he read. Okay. I was joking about the wife part. Fuck the rest of them, though. Oh, you, uh, don't, well, you was... don't want the spaghetti story? No, we're so long. We are very long. Oh, no. A long episode. Erica, don't joke Every about minute this. of recording is two to three minutes of editing. It's not just, <laughs> it's not just as simple as long episodes. <laughs> I'm speaking more to the listeners here at this point. Uh, thanks for listening. Thanks. Leave a review. Leave a like. Go listen to friend requests from Josh and Joe. It's a good time. And Erica, where can they find the judges stuff? You can find us on Twitter, Twitch, YouTube, Patreon, and Instagram. And our handle is at judges pod. And you can email us your story, your personal uh, listener submission story, or a listener submitted sound. If you want to be super creative and, and sing to us or something, 
then you can do that at uh, our email is judgespod, J-U-D-G-I-E-S, pod at gmail.com. And if you want to follow me on Instagram, since we're plugging personal things, uh, I am at Mrs. Ricky K. And I'm out of here. That last story would have been better if they would have plugged personal things. Okay, bye. Have a great week. I nardwarded it.